Okay, here we are in uh, Leon, Nicaragua. I'm going to show you some of the, or at the basketball court, but uh, this part is famous for its, um, this, this town is famous for its uh, murals that are historical and uh, also to raise awareness of uh, different social issues. This, uh, this one is particularly famous because it's um, a mural that takes us back to the same exact square in 1959 when a peaceful student protest against the Somoza regime turned deadly as the police national guard fired into the crowd killing four students who are forever remembered in the portraits that are painted of them behind me. Now to the right we have a new mural that just got painted this year of um, HIV awareness and uh, promoting responsibility. Um, here we have a couple. The gentleman has a condom in his hand and um, on the side we have a, the Grim Reaper the, uh, with a ball and chain called HIV and um, his weapon of choice is uh, AIDS um, and the volcano is erupting. Uh, personally I would think this is not the best way to do HIV awareness and promoting because it puts an extreme amount of stigma on someone who actually has HIV. Um, I mean, it's not too hard to tell. On the left, we have death, destruction, volcanoes, chaos. On the right, where there's no HIV, we have beautiful valleys and uh, mountains and sun. And a dove. Now, this one here is a, also a new one. And it's about environmental, um, I guess, awareness. It's a recycling campaign and it's to teach people to stop, uh, to advocate to stop dumping in the lakes. Many of the lakes which are abundant in Nicaragua um, are non, uh, they, they, they can't sustain life with how much chemicals and such have been dumped in them. And the sign says, um, nature is the fountain of life, stop. Here we have some other, uh, just some signs saying the culture and the religious history of the country. And then the most important one, which will get the most attention, is the, one of the most famous political um, murals in the country. And to describe it, we'll start with um, the ABC, which memorializes uh, the literacy campaign started by the, by, by the Sandinistas. Where they, where they forced the youth to go out in the countryside and, uh, act, and, li and um, teach people how to read and write. And actually, they won a UN award in the 70s for dropping the literacy rate, the illiteracy rate, um, significantly. Uh, the woman with the baby in one arm and the gun in one arm in the other hand is the figure, the historical figure for the women's rights movement faction of the. Uh, of the um, revolution. On the right, we have a campesino reading a book. And on the other side, this triangle symbolizes a piece of land, and it, uh, it's meant to show the scroll says re agrarian reform. And this guy is building the. Uh, it's basically to symbolize the infrastructure spending in the country. Um, we just had a car drive by doing some radio announcements, but the best one, perhaps this CIA helmet that uh, we all are familiar with the Iran-Contra affair, the money that was coming into was funneled, was, uh, funneled into the Contra of Nicaragua, and much of it went to the National Guard, the GN, that symbolized the helmets, and now we have the snakes. Snakes uh, have the red and white stripes of America, the stars. And the first snake is supporting the voting box and democracy that was uh, set up, um, which is to symbolize how they were uh, supporting Samosa. And here, as the ballot, as the people are putting in their votes, the second head of the snake is biting the hands of the people. Pretty powerful stuff. Um, and if you would like to learn more, you can learn more on global social justice 
www.ghostbusters.net.